I am going to the Toronto Sports Card Expo for the very first time. I'm going to be flying there, I'm going to stay for two nights, and so I'm leaving on Thursday, and I'm going to go on the show on the Friday and the Saturday. I'm going to be filming all of the important moments, the key moments along the way, and I hope to bring you along my journey um, this weekend to the Toronto Sports Card Expo. Finally, after the very nice flight, uh, we got to the landing, and uh, I gotta say, I cannot wait for tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be such a fun experience. I'm really excited. I don't know exactly what to expect, how many people are gonna be there, um, but I'm, I'm really excited. All right, so I'm up and ready to go. This is the view from the hotel. Ready to go to the International Center here in Toronto for the uh, Toronto Sports Cards Expo, and so I'm super excited um, to say breakfast. Yeah, can't wait. It's loads of fun. So I've just arrived at the Toronto Sports Card Expo, and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is get a 2019-20 Series 1 Hobby Box. And what's fantastic about getting these at the expo is uh, you get a bonus pack, so a promo pack with the hobby box. And then uh, what I was really excited to see was a very nice upper deck seating area uh, where you can sit and open up your boxes and there's tons of different people there. So that was very nice. And uh, so I broke open the box and the first hits were a uh, Teddy Bluger Young Guns and then I got a Brad Richardson clear cut. Um, a Hajek Young Guns and a very nice Quinn Hughes Young Guns, the hit of the first box. Super happy to get Quinn Hughes, one of the best rookies this year. Followed that up with a Zach Sunishin Young Guns, Connor Timmons Young Guns, and uh, that was it for the box. Um, the best hit being, without a doubt, the Quinn Hughes Young Guns. Uh, I was super happy with that. In the bonus pack, I got a massive Braden Point autograph numbered 47 out of 75. I was not expecting this from the uh, bonus pack, but it definitely made it all worth it. And uh, I gotta say, it's just a magnificent card. I love these promo packs. And uh, to recap, this box of Series 1, definitely tons of fun inserts. Uh, Young Guns, I got Max Jones, Bluger, Hajek, Seneshin, Timmons, and Hughes. And for the Quinn Hughes, I sold it immediately along with uh, another couple of cards for, I think it was $110, and um, I was definitely happy with that. And of course, the Braden Point autograph, fantastic. So uh, after opening up that box, went over to Com C to spin a wheel, and uh, then I came back with another box, got another hobby box of Series 1. First hit being an Ilya Mikheyev Young Guns canvas card, and I followed that up with a Holtby jersey, a Subray Young Guns, a McEwen Young Guns, a Rory Young Guns, a very nice Brett Kulak autograph for the PC. I really hit uh, PC cards, and that is a uh, case hit as well, so amazing. Followed that up with another PC hit, Kale Flurry Young Guns, super happy, and then a uh, McKicker in Young Guns, a Bergman Young Guns, and in the bonus pack, unfortunately, no autograph, but still a Kale McCarr victory rookie. So to recap, tons of decent hits. Um, I'm still a huge fan of these bonus packs. Uh, they are so cool, so fun to get, and they're uh, special because they are unique uh, for the expo. Also, uh, I love getting a Habs autograph, Brett Kulak, super awesome. And uh, first thing I did after opening up that box, sold the McKay of Young Guns canvas and Kale McCarr victory rookie. Can't remember exactly how much I got for them, but uh, I think it was around maybe 15, something like that each. And then I decided to just walk around. And so uh, after walking around for a little, I met a few guys from Montreal. 
and uh, we sat and broke some boxes together. Hopefully, uh, massive uh, McDavid something. Quinn Hughes. Okay, not bad. Ah, oh. <laughs> nope, nope. Still nothing. I've got to say, overall, just a fantastic first day. It couldn't have gone better, and I sold a ton of cards, and I was really honestly blown away by the amount of vendors. Um, I wasn't expecting there to be uh, as many vendors as there were. I cannot wait for tomorrow, but first, as a very big fan of airplanes, I'm gonna go uh, see a few of them land, so time for some plane spotting. Look at that. Seven eight seven nine Dreamliner. It's going to land right down there. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. Whoa! It's the morning of day two here in Toronto. We got some planes taken off, and uh, this is the second day and uh, my final day where I will be at the Sports Card Expo. Um, day one was absolutely incredible. I got pretty lucky, I'd say, getting the Quinn Hughes Young Guns and the Braden Point autograph in the bonus pack. And um, I did some selling, I did a bit of trading, um, yeah, just tons of fun meeting some people, and uh, hopefully I can meet some more people today, and uh, I'll be opening up a couple more boxes probably. And so uh, I'm going to head down for breakfast once again, and then head over right for the opening of the expo, and uh, super excited. It's going to be tons of fun once again. It's really a terrific experience, and uh, yeah, I can't wait. Let's, uh, let's go down. I arrived at the expo and I was blown away by the huge line at the entrance, but uh, I got in quite quickly and uh, got a box with a promo pack as usual. It's being clear cut of Bertuzzi and uh, the Young Guns, Kevin Stenland, another Kale Fleury Young Guns, super happy. I got Schult, Sabre, Lizotte, and probably the best one from the box, the Victor Olofsson Young Guns, um, Chris Tierney exclusives. And in the promo pack. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yes. I could not believe I got a paling rookie autograph. Uh, absolutely blown away. I made a couple trades um, on this day, actually made a couple on Friday as well, and that was super fun as well, making some in-person trades, and uh, I finally decided on another Series 1 box. A lot. So this, and then the paling, and then another auto. No way. That's cool. No way. Second promo pack in a row. Hit another Ryan Paling autograph. This one numbered two out of 75. Just incredible. I cannot believe um, my luck in these promo packs. And uh, after that break, I decided to uh, leave the guys I met, a uh, nice goodbye, they were super friendly, and I went around looking for some singles. Finally decided on a uh, Phil Esposito autograph, then I went for a Jonathan Durant rookie autograph and uh, jersey card, and finally a Connor Hellebuck autograph for $10, 
I was super happy to get those cards. And after some more looking around, it was time to leave. What an incredible experience the Toronto Sports Card Expo really was. For the people who were interested in that, there were also some athletes signing some memorabilia and some cards. Uh, if you were going to pay a certain amount, I think there was like Matt Sandin, Dominic Hasek, some legends were there. So uh, that was super cool as well. And I had a great flight back home and uh, really could not believe how much fun I had at the expo. There's so many great people to meet, tons of collectors that are just as passionate as I am, and uh, tons of people who just want to talk to you. Uh, I really wasn't expecting the amount of trading that dealers were doing with you, um, and even them buying cards. I didn't expect to be able to sell any this weekend, but uh, I learned that for next time I will be bringing a big box of cards that I can uh, maybe sell off to uh, some vendors and even some more collectors that will be there. So to wrap it all up, this was an incredible time, uh, the two days. I kind of wish I could have stayed for the uh, Sunday as well, just because there were so many great people to meet and uh, just tons of fun and uh, without a doubt, one of the best weekends of my life.